Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a special unboxing of the new Nintendo Switch OLED version. This is very kindly lent to me by Ricky, who you may have seen some of the other consoles I've done on the channel have been thanks to him. He's lent me the OLED Switch to do the first impressions and unboxing of. So I'm very privileged, so thank you Ricky. And we've also got the original one here to compare to as well, so we can go over the differences and might help you um, decide which one you're actually going to want to get for yourself. So the main difference is of course the OLED screen, which is actually a seven inch screen from the um, 6.2 that's on the original Switch. So you do actually get a bigger screen as well as the, the improved resolution. So some information on the box. This also has LAN as well, which is pretty cool, built into the dock. So when you're connected on the, onto the dock, you're actually going to get a faster networking speed than the original one or using it wireless. There's nothing real spec-wise on the box, um, so we're just going to get inside it. It does have, the, does have the contents on the top, but we'll just get into it. So, the big reveal. Oh. So we've got some plastic wrap, which you'd expect. as the screen, kind of like in different trays, which is quite nice. Joy-Cons, let's take those out. Uh, and the dock, and I think that's pretty much all we're going to need. It does have the um, attachment for the more kind of like typical controller, um, but I don't really think we're going to need to cover that because it's uh, only the colour that's different. So here's the dock. It does have some different cable routing than the original one that has a kind of notch design. I'll show you that in a minute. Obviously black and white. Nice grip on the bottom, so it's not going to scratch the surface that you leave it on. Pop that there so you can see that. Uh, let's get this section of the box out of the way. Let's open the Joy-Cons. So they're all kind of like, they're not stuck down bags, they just kind of slide out, which is nice. I feel quite good. It's a little up close view. They have a very nice matte feel. And then the main article itself. So let's just get the other switch just so you can see. Now you can already see how, if I line up where the actual screen is, you can see how much of a improvement there is just from that. So there you go, that's the difference quite drastically different really. Still in the same form form factor though, so it's um, still gonna feel very familiar if you've used the original one. So we'll pop that on and there we go. So looking at it, unless you're, of, well obviously the color is gonna be the big giveaway that's the OLED version, but from afar, excluding the color, it doesn't look too different, to be honest. Like the Joy-Cons are gonna fit with either one, so you can mix and match them and change the colors to whatever you fancy, if you like to personalize your, your Switch and stuff like that. But obviously the screen's the big giveaway, but apart from that, they look very similar. Let's go around the actual console. So the top, again, similar, slightly different vent for cooling on the top. You've still got your 3.5 mil jack game cartridge slot. Your buttons are still the same. On the bottom, we have got the USB-C for charging again, and then we have a kickstand on the OLED version, which is a lot bigger than the old one as well. So let's just show you the one on the original, which is just this little, little part here, which is very, very flimsy really in comparison to the one on the new one. But the size difference is crazy. Um, but yeah, sides are obviously the same because they're just standard Joy-Cons, so feels, you know, very much the same. Now, of course, the big changes we're going to see are when we turn these on. So I'm going to crank the settings of this brightness right up. It's back to white as well, just so we can see just how the color different. Well, the cut, like the color itself in terms of the tint is really different. Um, just looking at 
these, let's just go to the settings of this. Screen brightness. Okay, so I would say that the original is actually brighter, but obviously the quality is much better on the OLED. Now you actually get from 2.5 to 6.5 hours, which is drastically a, a drastic difference on the original Switch, and then 4.5 to 9 hours on the OLED, but that will depend on how bright you have your screen. This is obviously at max, max chat, so to speak. Um, let's set this to black. This is to see how it looks with the blacks. Yeah, and again, contrast is really different. So let's get these back on. We've got Zelda just as a quick test. It looks fantastic. Even playing it flat to tilting to me. And the viewing angles are still good. Also, the bezel around the screen is actually gloss, whereas the original's matte. So something to, to note. I am a massive matte black freak. So I would say I'd like the map from around the original one on this, but you know, to each their own. I think after, you know, those few minutes I was playing Zelda on uh, the OLED and I was going to buy one of these personally, I'd have to get this one because looking at the original screen, it's going to be nothing in comparison. So I've kind of uh, screwed myself there if I want to buy one myself because I have to buy an LED one, but there we go. So let's quickly look at the dock. As I did say, it's slightly different. It's the original to the new one. Now this part on the OLED dock comes off rather than being attached like this one. So make of that what you will. We've got AC adapter, USB and HDMI. If you can see that very well. But on the new one, we've got our USB-C, AC, HDMI out, and then you've got a LAN port so you can go wide networking for when you're docked and get a far faster online experience than you would using wireless. I like that. I do like the LAN feature. I'm always an advocate of using wired over wireless just because it's so much faster, at least until, you know, technology catches up. But um, it's nice to see that that's uh, an option on there. Very nice. And now let's just put these on the docks so you can see them both docked for Compalison. That OLED is very nice though. So there we go. That's both of those on their docks. So I hope you enjoyed this little first look. I know it's not quite as in-depth as some other videos will be, but as I did say, this isn't mine to actually do the content on. So it's uh, just a quick look, but the OLED is very, very nice. I shall tell you that. And Ricky will enjoy this, I have no doubt. There's also two USBs on the dock as well still, so you don't lose any from this one that would replace the USB port on the original. So yeah, very, very nice. I will put links for the OLED switch down in the description box below as well. Um, but first impressions is very, very good. And I'm gonna go and have to sell a kidney to go and get myself one. So thank you all for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you to Ricky for letting me look at this and do the first unboxing. And I'll see you all in the next one.